गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू हमने जो है पिछले लेक्चर में सल्फरेलाइट उसकी प्रिपरेशन और सल्फरेलाइट के सेंथेटिक एप्लीकेशन देखे ठीक है आज जो है इनाम देखेंगे ठीक है न्यू टॉपिक से और इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक है और बहुत से क्वेश्चन जो है इसके तुम्हारे एग्जाम में और साथ ही साथ नेट सेट में भी पूछता ठीक है सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी इनाम वॉट इज इनाम नाउ इनाम इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ई प्लस अम ओके दिस इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इनाम इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ई प्लस अम ई मीन्स कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड एंड अम मीन्स This is the structure of enamide. Okay. The lone pair of nitrogen is delocalized with this pair. Okay. Means it is called as resonance stabilized species. See here. Okay. 
This is the fourth point. That the inner mind is a resonance a stabilized species where lower pair of nitrogen is delocalized with pi bond due to which we produce nucleophilic carbon atom. Okay? This is the fourth point. Now the fifth point is enamine was firstly prepared by Manich and Davidson near about in 1936. Okay. Firstly, Manich and Davidson prepared enamine. In 1936, with the help of aldehyde and amine. Okay. So firstly, Manich and Davidson prepared enamine with the help of aldehyde and amine in 1936. After that, Stahl. Prepare in a mind with the help of ketone and amine. Near about in 1963. Okay. After the preparation of Davidson and Manich, Stahl also prepared in a mind with the help of ketone and amine in 1963. So these are the. Scientists or chemists that is that that will be prepared in a mind with the help of aldehyde, ketone, and amine. Okay, this is the fifth point. The substrate molecule of in a mind preparation generally use aldehyde or ketone with the in a mind. Okay. So there are two substrate molecules which are used in the preparation of enamine. First one is aldehyde or ketone, and second one is enamine. Okay. So aliphatic as well as cyclic amine also used in preparation of enamine. Also aliphatic and cyclic ketone used in the preparation of in a both aliphatic as well as cyclic amine and ketone will be used in the preparation of in a mine okay These are the cyclic amine, okay, called as pyridine. This is pyridine.
in the preparation of enamine sagi amine as well as sagi ketone will be used okay also aliphatic aldehyde ketone and aliphatic amine are also used in the preparation of enamine okay the enamine form from secondary amine will be stable okay enamine form from secondary amine is stable as compared to as compared to primary amine okay so in the preparation of enamine generally use secondary amine insist of primary amine because of enamine prepared from secondary amine is more stable as compared to primary amine okay this is the last point of the enamine so we can explain seven or six points of enamine we can prepare the enamine how to prepare enamine this is the question okay now we will see preparation of enamine how to prepare in our mind now listen when alpha hydrogen containing carbonyl compound when alpha hydrogen containing carbonyl compound react with amine in the presence of mineral acid to form enamine along with water molecule okay this is the statement of depression when alpha hydrogen containing carbonyl compound react with amine in the presence of mineral acid to form an enamine as a major product along with water molecule here generally mineral acid is used as a para toluene para toluene sulfonic acid okay These acid are used in the preparation of enamine. This is the structure of para toluene sulfonic acid. Okay. These acid are used in the preparation of enamine. Okay. Now the statement of preparation of enamine is when alpha hydrogen containing carbonyl compound. Treated with amine in the presence of mineral acid to form major product enamine or by product water. Okay, simply reaction of aldehyde and ketone with amine presence of acid to form enamine. Okay. Now here I am taking an example. This is the ketone molecule, okay? Or 
Enamine. This is the structure of enamine. This is formed from primary amine, so it is one degree amine, and they are also water molecule in the bicarbonate. So this is the general the reaction of preparation of enamine. Here, carbonyl compound is treated with one degree amine. In the presence of acid to form a one degree amine. This is our final product or major product. Also, here water molecule will be present. This is the general representation of enamine. Now, I am going to explain their mechanism. So, the mechanism of preparation of enamine consists of Three to four step. Okay, we will see one by one. Now the first step is preparation of oxonium ion. Okay, in the first step of preparation of the ion, oxonium ion will be formed. Okay, now let us see here. I am taking. Our carbonyl compound. Okay, this is our carbonyl compound. So in the first step of reaction mechanism, this carbonyl compound undergoes protonation with the acid. So here I am generally use para poly sulfuric acid. So this is the structure of para poly sulfuric acid. Okay. Firstly, this paracolyl sulfuric acid undergoes ionization and it forms a two for two ion. The electronegativity difference between oxygen and hydrogen, so this bond break electronegativity and both electron of bond shifted towards the oxygen and you will get. Okay. 
इस कार्बन एटम है टू हाइड्रोजन ओके दिस इज अल्फा हाइड्रोजन एटम ऑफ कार्बोन कंपाउंड सो दिस हाइड्रोक्सी ग्रुप एक्सट्रैक्ट वन प्रोटॉन फ्रॉम हियर ड्यू टू रीच दिस कार्बन एटम बी आर पॉजिटिव चार्ज So generally in your exam, this type of question will be asked.
complete the reaction. This type of question will be asked in your exam. So this is our carbonyl compound and this is our secondary amine. Okay. Here as it will be present. So here preparation of amine will be occur. How to prepare on CL? In the first step of reaction, the lone pair of oxygen abstract is proton from acid and to form a protonated product called as ozonium ion. So this is the structure of ozonium ion. Due to the loss of lone pair oxygen, their positive charge. This is the first step. Enter. We need to add ozonium, and this ozonium ion further reacts with second ion. So this is our second ion. Okay. Here nitrogen contains lone pair. It acts as a nucleophile and it attacks on a electrophilic center of ozonium ion. Here carbon is a electrophilic center. Simultaneously, the bond between pi bond between carbon and oxygen is shifted towards the oxygen, and oxygen establishes their positive charge, and we will get this type of intermediate R C H two single bond C. This bond shifted towards the oxygen, so single bond O, and oxygen restores their positive charge, establishes their positive charge O H. Single bond R H and this nitrogen bonded with carbon, so single bond N. Here one alkyl group, here also one alkyl group, and here hydrogen. Okay. Due to the loss of lone pair nitrogen, we are called picture. Okay. This is the second intermediate. After the formation of this intermediate. The conjugated base present here. It extracts this proton from nitrogen, and the bond between nitrogen and hydrogen shifted towards the nitrogen, and nitrogen stabilizes their positive charge, and we will get this type of product. Now here are CH2 single bond C. Single bond OH, single bond R dash, okay. Single bond N, and here one alkyl group, here also one alkyl group, and this hydrogen attracted by the conjugated base. So here by product is PtSOH, okay. This is the by product, and the bond between nitrogen and hydrogen shifted towards the nitrogen, so Nitrogen stabilizes their positive charge and maintain their lone pair. Okay, so this is the another intermediate. After the formation of this intermediate, here the lone pair of nitrogen shifted in between carbon and hydrogen. Simultaneously, here hydroxyl group will be removed. So this net lone pair of nitrogen shifted between carbon and nitrogen. Simultaneously, hydroxyl group will be removed, and we will get this type of intermediate. Now, see here R single bond CH two single bond C single bond R dash. This hydroxyl group will be removed, and the lone pair shifted between carbon and hydrogen. So here, pi bond will be generated between. Carbon and nitrogen. Okay. Due to the loss of lone pair, nitrogen pair positive charge. So this is called as aluminium ion. Aluminium ion. Okay. The hydroxyl group extracts one proton from aluminium ion. So here. One proton will be lost due to the loss of one proton. This carbon atom become negative, and we will get this type of intermediate. Now see R single bond C H. One proton will be extracted. Hydroxyl group so here carbon pair negative charge. Single bond C 
सिंगल बॉन्ड आर है डबल बॉन्ड नाइट्रोजन एंड यह टू मिथिल ग्रुप हाइड्रोजन ऑन नाइट्रोजन एंड नाइट्रोजन का टेन पॉजिटिव ओके आफ्टर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दिस इंटरपेटेड द नेगेटिव चार्ज इज डिलोकलाइज्ड इन पाई बॉन्ड सो दिस नेगेटिव चार्ज शिफ्टेड बिटवीन कार्बन एंड कार्बन और सेमीकंडक्टर इन द पाई बॉन्ड शिफ्टेड टुवर्ड द नाइट्रोजन नाइट्रोजन इज स्टेबलाइज देयर पॉजिटिव चार्ज एंड रीगेन देयर लोन पेयर एंड फाइनली वी विल गेट आवर पाई ऑन बॉर्डर कॉल्ड एज एनामाइन आर सिंगल बॉन्ड सी ए दिस नोन नेगेटिव चार्ज शिफ्टेड बिटवीन दिस कार्बन सो हियर पाई बॉन्ड विल जनरेट This R H. This by bond shifted toward the oxygen nitrogen. Nitrogen is stabilized by positive charge and regain their lone pair. So this is our final product, secondary enamel. Okay, it will be formed from secondary amine. Means it is stable enamel. Okay, and our by product is. Hydroxy group acted one more time from here, so it is water molecule our bipolar. So this is the another example of impression of enamel. So here I have taken aliphatic aldehyde as well as aliphatic enamel. Enamel also prepared in the form of cyclic enamel, solid cyclic. Amine as well as cyclic ketone. So let C A here. Here I have taken cyclic ketone. Okay, this is the cyclo. Hexanol. It have a alpha hydrogen. Okay. Alpha hydrogen. Okay. It react with cyclic amine. So here I have taken pentaridine. Okay. This is the cyclic amine or as pentaridine. Enamine. So this is the enamine, and by product we water molecule. Okay. We can also use cyclic ketone and cyclic secondary amine in the preparation of enamine. So this is the another example. The mechanism of the reaction is same. In the first step, the lone pair of cyclic ketone attract this proton from acid. And form a oxalonium ion. This is the structure of oxalonium ion. Due to the loss of lone pair, oxygen gets positive charge, and this is our oxalonium ion. This oxalonium ion further treated with secondary ion. Here, pentaridine is the secondary ion. Okay. Oh, the lone pair of pentaridine acts as a nucleophile and it attacks on a carbonyl carbon atom. Simultaneously, the pi bond between carbon and oxygen shifted toward the oxygen, and oxygen stabilizes their positive charge, and we will get this type of intermediate. And the nitrogen bonded with this carbon atom. So here, nitrogen. Okay, this intermediate will be formed. 
the coagulated base from acid generally here i am taking paracoagulated sulfuric acid so this coagulated base attracts this proton so the bond between nitrogen and hydrogen shifted toward the nitrogen and nitrogen stabilizes their positive charge and we will get our another intermediate like that after the formation of this intermediate the lone pair of nitrogen shifted between the nitrogen and carbon atom simultaneously a hydroxyl group will be removed okay and we will get this type of intermediate okay the remove removing hydroxyl group attract one proton from this carbon atom okay this is the alpha carbon atom of carbonyl group okay so this hydroxyl group attract this proton and remove as a water molecule due to the loss of this proton the bond between hydrogen and carbon shifted toward the carbon atom okay and carbon bear a negative charge this negative charge of carbon is delocalized with this pi bond okay so this negative charge shifted between this carbon and this carbon atom and the pi bond between this carbon and nitrogen shifted toward the nitrogen and the nitrogen stabilizes their positive charge okay after the shifting of negative charge between the pi bond we will get our final product in amine okay and by product is h2o so this is the cyclic ketone and also here cyclic secondary amine so in the preparation of enamine we can also use cyclic ketone as well as cyclic amine okay so this is all about the introduction preparation and mechanism of enamine if you have any problem regarding to this topic you can ask me personally okay